Hello there, welcome to Radio Greipar's newscast. My name is Valur Grettisson. This is, of course, our, my darling assistant, Polly. Uh, yeah, uh, we're here at Reykjavik. It's downtown, it's back downtown. I'll explain a little bit later why we're here. Just want to mention the High Five Club, uh, also the High Five Club home. If you, if you live in Iceland or you want the, the magazine to be sent to you, then you could uh, be in the High Five Club home membership and we'll give you the, it will literally drive the issue to you. <laughs> uh, but uh, also remember our online shop, we're selling a lot of nice stuff. Uh, of Water and Time by Andri Snær just came out in English translation. I read it already, I read it in Icelandic a year ago. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's about uh, memories, time and uh, global warming. <laughs> Couldn't be more dramatic. Uh, but yeah, first, news, right? Are you ready? <laughs> the reason we're standing here is because this hospital here had a massive group infection. All in all, we have around 80 people that have gotten uh, infected by the, the, uh, the COVID virus. Uh, and it's a mess. It's, a, it's almost like a cluster beep, you know. Uh, the thing is that, uh, remember perhaps, that we kind of started this third wave by like uh, going to the bars and we got 80 infected people at uh, two restu one restaurant and one bar, which means that uh, this is the, almost the same. But we just found out on Thursday. So this is, of course, Landakot, this hospital here. Uh, the hospital has declared a state of emergency for the first time since contingency, contingency plan was made in 2006. So this is very, very bad. Uh, the reason this is bad is because, more or less, uh, the people that are getting the virus there are like, of, of these 80 people, 50 of them are patients. So they are like in the, the most vulnerable group. And that means that we are, I mean, this could end badly, but we don't know yet. We hope for the best, uh, but uh, this has been a drama. Uh, so we thought actually we were doing well. We we're getting around the third wave when this came clear on last Thursday. Uh, so uh, even like the, uh, what do we call it, our top scientists, they have plans of uh, loosening the restrictions and everything, but now they're not so sure anymore. So we have to be in this uh, Icelandic version of lockdown, which is we can go to school, of course, and we can go out, uh, but we can't go to the bars, I can't get a haircut and so on. Uh, it's a, pro probably a little bit funny to see like how the videos of me have been like, if you look at my hair through the videos in the COVID, how it has changed and now it's quite long. Uh, anyways, uh, nobody knows how, how the virus got into the hospital, uh, but it obviously got there. They have very strict rules about how this, how to like, uh, when you want to visit someone uh, and uh, how, who can go inside and so on. But something went wrong uh, people are, they think it's perhaps just an individual that had no symptoms. Uh, it's not unlikely, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, more people have gotten COVID in this third wave uh, than in the, first, in the first five months of the pandemic. The kids are watching us. Hi. A lot of kids here. There is a school around here called Landakot Skoli, the same name as the hospital. You can see them there. Anyways, uh, we have a little, little over 1,000 people still in uh, isolation, uh, which means that uh, this third wave is officially worse than the beginning of the pandemic, where we were actually doing, I wouldn't say fine, but we were kind of battering this in the beginning. I think they, they, have, called, they have called this like being tired uh, of the what do you call it, like uh, tired of the pandemic. Pandemic tiredness, is that a word? <laughs> it's in Icelandic, we call it far sóttar treita. Try to say that three times in a row. Uh, so uh, we are in like, we are still like, uh, we are still going down though. That's the good news. So when, when we spoke, I think last time or the, or the day before that, 
uh, we were up to 300 uh, cases per 100,000 uh, person. Now we're down to 227. Uh, I mean, I haven't got the new numbers today, but uh, yesterday they were around 70. And remember like how many are in quarantine when they get uh, diagnosed? Uh, yesterday, not so many. So it means that uh, this, uh, they are, we are still going around spreading. Uh, so, I mean, uh, all of these numbers and all of this information are, of course, at covid.is. I don't mention this enough, but uh, covid.is is like a, in my opinion, almost like a unique homepage uh, where you can find all of these information about COVID, what to do, the numbers, the statistics, is really, really good. And I think more countries could do this, but of course we have, perhaps we're a few, and that's, that's why we can do it. But in, in the end, that's no excuse that we are few. We just, your, your country needs to do something like this. Uh, also, uh, yeah, to the drama, uh, even more drama. We had a huge scandal this weekend uh, where this uh, freighter came uh, back from, uh, from sailing like they were fishing. Uh, we were, of course, a fishing nation. Uh, and they were, uh, it came out that there were 22 of the 25 crewmates had COVID. And what's worse, nobody uh, announced this, that they were doing this, and they were forced to work as they were uh, uh, with, with the virus at the ship. This is absolutely horrible. <laughs> there is no other way to say it. Uh, a crewmate, a young one, he actually broke the silence after the company Hraðfristi uh, Hús Gunnvöru, Gunnvarar, wow, yeah, it's even complicated in Icelandic. Uh, they, uh, they basically banned their crewmates to talk publicly about the, about the COVID virus uh, infection on board. But now, after he, he spoke, uh, people are now, and even the, the police is looking into the matter, uh, that if uh, perhaps the, the captain endangered his crewmates. Uh, this is bad because uh, the, the captain on these, bo on these ships is almost like a marshal. It's like a, mil it's like a militant, uh, like, what do you call it? Like discipline, militant discipline which means that uh, you don't go against the captain. And if your captain tells you to go and work while you have COVID, you go and work while you have COVID. But uh, the reason that he has this power is because they tr uh, the crew must trust him. They trust him for his life, for their lives. Uh, and it's, uh, they trust that he has the, their uh, health, uh, uh, like a oh, higher prioritize. Just let's go over. Uh, higher prioritized prioritized than uh, the money the company the company is making, but uh, this was not the case. Appear not to be the case now, uh, and this means that uh, the police are now like um, interviewing the crewmates. Uh, some of them are quite sick. Uh, none is like in a critical health though, uh, but this is definitely a huge scandal. So much that the, the minister of fishery he has criticised this heavily as well as the, the left green. And you remember the prime minister is in left green. She's in, in, in charge in Iceland right now. <laughs> so, uh, and the, the, the minister of fishery is in the independence party, which is both uh, of these parties are in coalition uh, in the government. So, uh, 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 where are we? Yes, and bullyism. Bullyism is a thing, still in Iceland. Uh, we always had bullyism in Iceland. It, it was bad when I was young. Uh, I thought it was better today, but uh, it's apparently it's not. There was like a heartbreaking status that a mother uh, published on, on Facebook the other day, where she told uh, about the bullyism that her son is uh, uh, in, uh, like uh, subjected to, and it's it's absolutely horrible. It's like it was horrible how she described it. Horrible how kids can be cruel, and uh, it's just it's just a nasty thing. Uh, but the good thing is that uh, the nation, once again, I sometimes absolutely love Icelanders because we have so such a big heart. Sometimes uh, Icelanders took this uh, com completely to their heart, which meant that uh, uh, which meant that uh, one of the top players, the Icelandic national team in football, uh, Jón Daði Böðvarsson. He actually called them, uh, called, contacted this kid. His name is Oliver, and uh, Oliver is around 10 years old. 
And he told him that he was also bullied, Jontai. And Jontai also told him that uh, he should stay strong because Oliver wants to be a football, pro football guy in, in the future. And he like, he trusts in football and he plays all the time. Uh, Aaron Einar, the, the teammate, like the captain of the team, he also contacted uh, Oliver, uh, even the ministry, Minister of Education. She even uh, called the, 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 the family and she announced today that she wants to do more when it comes to bullyism in schools. So there's a lot of discussion now about bullyism. And, and I think it's absolutely timely because this is something that completely, I've, I've met people that was bullied very harshly when they were young and they are just, they're just broken in so many ways. And it's, it's horrible to see it. And these kids are most often really smart. Some of them, of course, become brilliant. Some of them never do so, and only because of this. So this is definitely like a, a, a serious threat to like the health of, of children. And uh, it's not a good way to make a productive individual for the future, or preparing for the future. So uh, that, this is more or less what's in news today. Uh, uh, well, th since uh, we met last, met last, yes, last time, uh, you are now walking in my uh, neighbor neighborhood. This is now, this, this is called Pradera Borgar Stigur, or uh, Brother City uh, Steep, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, I love the streets. You can see this, uh, this is downtown area uh, where I also live. You should actually go to the, to the countryside, showing the, the smaller towns, right? Art says yes, but he, he never wants to show his face, of course. So, uh, this is it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Until later, see you then.